guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing my top five nudes now this isn't a nudes video that you think it is my top nude lipsticks I always get so many questions and I have done a video previously like this but it has been a little while ago since I've done it obviously there are new lipsticks that have come out and new brands and products and what have you different trends and I just want to share with you guys exactly the nudes that I have been obsessed with and that I have been loving. Obviously, I do a lot of makeup videos here on YouTube and a lot of the time I am using these nude lipsticks. So I really wanted to share with you which ones they were, why I love them and what brands they are. So if you want to learn what they are, please just keep on watching. So the first nude that I'm going to start with is my lip liner. Now this lip liner I use extremely regularly like almost to the point of ridiculous how much i use it and it is my kkw beauty in nude one it has definitely had its day i'm really thinking that maybe i should do an order and do another one as you guys can see it is a very pretty nudie pink tone and it just suits my skin perfectly. I find that when I need a lip liner, this is my go-to. It just suits any liquid lip that I use. It just matches my skin perfectly. And I just feel like this particular nude is one that I cannot live without. Considering that Kim Kardashian West has created a makeup line, I know a lot of people probably don't really like her. Whether you like her or you don't, I love her makeup. I feel like she just really knows her lipsticks and the quality and the product is just amazing in itself. So I highly recommend Kim Kardashian West Beauty in her lip liner. I really love it. It's just like the perfect true nude. So the nude number two I'm going to be sharing with you is my Huda Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Anniversary. Quite often I don't really feel like I want to wear a liquid lip and this would be the lipstick that I would wear if I'm not really, if I'm wanting to do more of like a natural lipstick look. It is also just the perfect nude shade. I love the quality, I love the consistency and I love the way that it's Quite velvety on my lips this is the swatch of anniversary and as you can see it is a peachy pink nude it is great for any makeup look and I just find that it literally just goes with my skin tone perfectly and I always seem to throw a lot of like violety sort of tones and when I wear this it is a very true nude on my lip nude number three this is a what they call a velvet liquid lip so it's not quite a dry down formula it's a little bit more on the softer side and this one is from Kylie Cosmetics I haven't really been a massive fan of Kylie Cosmetic items really if I'm honest I find that the way that her liquid lips dry on my lips they tend to ball up a little bit but when I was in Hawaii and I went to Ulta I was able to test them and I tested the velvet liquid lip I really loved the way that it felt so with this nude I also just love the way that it felt which is really important to me in finding my favorite nudes because like I mentioned I don't always want to go for that full-on glam liquid lip look this one is the perfect daytime nude it is more of a pinky nude rather than a peachy nude so this one actually really is a pretty color this one is a little bit more on the pinkier side than anniversary that's a little bit more peach but I really like the way that this feels on my lips and I love the way that it dries down and it looks with my makeup so I really love this shade and this shade is called Bear. I'm not wildly crazy about the smell of Kylie Cosmetics. I do find that her liquid lips are very strong. It only has that scent for, I don't know, five minutes until it sl slightly dries down a little bit and then I don't notice it. But if you enjoy velvet liquid lips that aren't as strong as a matte liquid lip, Highly recommend Kylie's. Love this nude. Like I mentioned, it is bare and you can purchase these from her website or if you're in America, you can buy them from, I think, Ulta Beauty. Then for nude number four, 
If you have been watching my channel for a while, you would know pretty quickly which one is my favorite nude in a liquid lip because that's what we're going to talk about. And you would know that I am obsessed with Ludwig by Kat Von D Beauty. Now I know there's a lot of like chatter around Kat Von D Beauty, but I absolutely love this nude. This is hands down out of everything, my favorite product of life that I cannot live without. It's the perfect nude for me. It is great for when I'm contouring my lips or just wearing it on its own. I do love the way that Kat Von D's liquid lips feel on mine. It is personal preference. Some people like it and some people don't, but I personally, love it very much in between anniversary and bear it's not quite as dark as bear but it's also not as apricot as anniversary it's just the perfect middle shade i also love the way that it dries down and it is great to be intermixing with my lighter white lipstick if i am wanting it a little bit lighter i find that this color really suits my skin tone and it's super affordable like i think for the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, they're like $28. And I actually initially bought this one for my engagement party. And that was in, I think maybe almost a year and a half ago. So that's how long I've had it for, probably gone off, but still works. So love that for me. My ultimate nude lipstick. Nude number five. Now this is a final nude product and I really wanted to just share with you each different type of lipstick, hence the reason why I've shown you a lip liner, a cream lipstick, a velvet liquid lip, a liquid lip, and now I want to share with you a gloss. I am really embracing the lip gloss trend that is out at the moment. This is my Buxom lip product, and this is a lip plumping lip cream. So it's kind of like a gloss, but it's more of a lip cream gloss if that makes sense but it also plumps your lips up as well this is in the shade white russian i wear this lip this lip gloss quite a lot when i'm not doing any makeup or if i'm just spot concealing and having my eyelashes on this is just a really great great way just to give it a slick kind of look to make them look juicy make me look like i've tried without actually trying this has got a really really soft nudie pink look to it and i just love the way that it actually makes my lips look so this lower color right here is the white russian now i find that it is very very sheer but it is very glossy so when it is worn on its own it is a super super pretty color and especially if you're not wearing a lot of makeup at all it just kind of looks very natural but it also looks like you've tried and that comes to the end of my top five nudes i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know down below which nude lipsticks that you guys love i always like to try lots of different nudes if only you guys could see the drawer that i have of nude lipsticks honestly it's beyond ridiculous i have to say it is something that i love to buy me loving to buy something equals me loving to be able to talk about it so please let me know down below if there is a liquid lip that or if there is any lip lipstick that is a nude that you have tried and loved i'd love for you guys to share with me what those are also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my online family, please make sure you do. All my social media links are listed down below, including my Instagram, which I post a lot of outfit of the days if you're into that. So if you aren't following me over there, please, please come past and say hi. But until next time, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.